So I blew the mind of my youth group because I have this friend in high places who is my disciple, right? But he's way up there in investigative law enforcement. But he's my disciple. So I called him one day and I said, you know, I, I do Facebook and stuff, but not like, you know, I'm not addicted to it. I said, is there, I understand there's no way, like the picture chat stuff, there's certain ones that it's, it goes away. And uh, is there any way to look at that? He said, it don't go away. Oh, no. It, no, once it's up, it's, it's forever. It just goes away from them. But the picture's forever. And he said, I can give you a private code and you can go on anybody's social site you want to, Facebook, Twitter, chat, whatever you want. I said, you're kidding me. I'll give you $1,000. <laughs> All right, I'll give you 10000 praise the Lord. And so... All these, all these, it's not just young people. I've just given my story. All these young people posting all this, tweeting all this, you know, chatting, picture, share, all that stuff. And so I thought, well, uh, I'll try it. So I went on a site and it blocked me. And I put in a code he told me to on the keyboard and it popped up this dialog box. And I entered the little numbers and letters he gave me and lo and behold, Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> so I start posting funny little notes and stuff. Or I take a picture of myself. Yeah, I can do a selfie. I take a picture of myself and throw it up on with their other pictures. And they don't, you know, people don't realize. And so I hear all the comeback. Oh, my God, is that pastor? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember one gal, I said, this is your pastor, blouse yourself. Because <laughs> she was, you know, sharing inappropriate stuff with her boyfriend or maybe the whole youth group for all I know. Because they, people are dumb enough to think it's totally private and protected. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, keep looking at me like that and I'm using that code on your stuff today. <laughs> 